And welcome everybody on YouTube and of course here in Twitch chat as well. We're starting off another stream day here on this Monday for us or whatever day you're watching this if you're watching it in the future with another edition of Naya Value. This is one of my favorite decks and the deck that I would probably take to a tournament right now if I was going to go play a tournament. I I don't know if I would actually register Emissary of Sunrise. Um, that may be something else, but I like the other 59 cards in the main deck. This is the the one question mark that it could be Third Aurelia, but I don't necessarily love Third Aurelia. It could be um, uh, Siege Gang Commander. Uh, could just play like a Shalai. Um, I like to keep the Bugler hits up though, so that's why we got the Emissary in there. Um, but you know, it's it's just a it's Merfolk Branchwalker that costs one more and gives you first strike. So first strike can be pretty valuable with a Johnny putting counters on it and teaming with Daredevil. So we had it in, in last time, worked out okay. Let's try it again. Our sideboard, um, Deafening Clarion we got for aggro. Uh, to either deal three damage to every creature for behind or just give our creatures a lifelink. We got Spyglass for Teferi, uh, Knight of Autumn for History Banalia decks, or like Jeskai Control with a lot of enchantments. Watley just kind of does some stuff. I mean, it's good against Control, just making three threes every turn. It's actually good against Aggro with the tick up, the plus two gain life. So it's good against Aggro, good against Control like that. Um, so kind of comes in both of those times there. Carnage Tyrant, Steel, Star of Extinction, of course, good against uh, Golgari, both of those, and Carnage Tyrant against uh, Control. So, there we go. Inspiring Commander. That's the name of the card. So, already, yeah, this card costs 6 mana, so I'm already not liking it. But it's whenever another creature with power 2 or less ETBs under your control, you gain 1 life and draw a card. So, it's 6 mana... You play a 1-4, and it does nothing. And then you have to untap with it. And then, hopefully, after your 6th drop, you still need to have other cards in hand to be able to play. Yeah. Not liking it. What about... What if we played one Mentor of the Meek? Is this card actually playable? I guess we could find out. I guess we could just find out, just have a Mentor of the Meek in the deck, just see what happens. Okay. Well, it looks like we need to make a new deckless command then. Yeah, let's, let's try out Mentor of the Meek. Alright, so if you're watching this uh, later on YouTube, just wanted to remind you, and of course, everybody here in chat wanted to remind you that... On Friday this week is that's January 11th. We are going to have the entire Ravnica Allegiance set available to us, and so we're going to be doing something special on stream from 3 to 10 Eastern, where we're going to go through and break down every card in the set, go color by color, make a YouTube video for e each one, uh, talk about their constructed playability. So we're going to do a, con a big time constructed set review. Um, on Friday. So make sure you check out that stream or also the videos on YouTube after um, if you want to hear all of our thoughts um, on all the cards. I'll be giving each card a constructed grade A through F. The set drops on Arena on, d on the 17th of January. So it'll be the following Thursday is when the set will be available on um, on Arena. And then you won't be able to play it at F and M until I mean I think it's I think it I think like then the pre release is like eighteen nineteen or it's like the like the nineteenth, twentieth, and then like the release of week weekend is like the twenty sixth, twenty seventh. Yeah, the standard format on Arena will change on that day. Yep, it'll be... Uh, Ravnica Legion will be legal on that day. Okay, we're going to try Mentor the Meek. Let's just try it. Why not?
Naya value. Oh, a ton. Nisa will absolutely shake up the meta a ton. There's only five sets in standard right now. So adding a sixth set um, adds another... Like, if you think about what's in standard right now, 20% more. Or if you think just overall, 17% more cards to the card pool. And so it's going to change a whole lot. New sets generally do that, especially uh, whenever standards as small as it is right now. Yeah, these opening hands not been very kind to us. But, yeah. Great first game to start the day off. So far. I mean, if we can just get to Vivian, Vivian can... Uh, Undo all of that missing card advantage, though. But unfortunately, we're playing against Control. So, Control certainly punishes you for not having the maximum amount of cards you, that you can have. Hey, Matthew Ori. Yeah, Domri looks pretty sweet. I like it. Alright, I'd like to get a Jade Light Ranger here. I guess I get a Tristani. There is a bunch of lands. So our bottom three cards are all lands. Coffee Master with the tier one sub. Wait, why didn't why didn't we get a? Did y'all see a, an alert for Coffee Master? Subscribing. Why wasn't there an alert thing? No alert. Hmm. Hawkeye does have a short tail. Part whenever he's a little little kitten. He was a stray cat, and part of his tail froze off. Um, something's wrong with my alerts. I tried just running the alert manually, and it didn't work also. Huh. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's up. So he said uh, stream lads stream lads did this to you yesterday also I had to recreate the alert alert box on my screen. Layout. That seems like a lot of work. I don't, I don't know how to do that. Anyway, Coffee Master, love your stream, dude. Been watching pretty much every day. Always great decks and play. Well, thank you so much, Coffee Master. Thanks for being here. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the support. Okay, we got Vivian or Tristani now. Our opponent has pretty obvious um, counterspell. Let's go Daredevil Opt. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that while while streaming. The whole recreate the follower alert thing, or like the the, the whatever alert thing. Um, 23 lands looks pretty low. Pelt Collector doesn't look playable. Yeah, 23 lands is way too low. 
For that, the curve's just too high. You just don't have you don't have two drops. You don't have things to like smooth out your draws. Like you should be having like Jade Light Ranger. Like, why would you not have Jade Light Ranger in your deck? Yeah, you don't need seven main main deck six drops. What is going on here? I'm trying to do too many things. Um, you can play you can play Steel Leaf. So if you want to play Steel Leaf and the new three drop, okay. So that's a lot of three drops. And you should have Branch Walker the two drop slot then. I don't know how I beat next turn Deafening Clarion and like if they have Counterspell this turn and then de next turn they have Deafening Clarion plus a Counterspell. I'm not sure how I really beat that. Domri's good. So, so that combination of counter for like Vivian like this turn. And then if they have if they have Deafening Clarion plus a counter spell. I mean I, I guess I'm forcing them to have that. We had like a just a mulligan to five here. We're forcing them to have Deafening Clarion plus counter spell. So that is not it. Thanks, Bob guy. Okay, so our opponent is playing... Okay, what are you doing? Oh, I didn't give you food or... Yeah, Hawkeye, you're looking you're looking for your food. I didn't feed you right before streaming. I always feed him, like, you know, his lunchtime meal. I didn't give him his lunchtime meal. I'm going to have to go do that. Um, so, yeah, after this match, I'm going to have to go... Just take, like, a minute to go feed Hawkeye. All right, anyway, uh, Knight of Autumn, Sorcerer's Spyglass, uh, other Vivian, Huatli, Carnage Tyrant. It's really how many... Um, how many enchantments do we think they're actually playing? It's possible they're just not really playing enchantments. But Knight of Autumn's probably better than Wild Growth Walker. Just in case. Yeah, that's a Hawkeye saying. He's saying, food, please. What? Um, all right, our hand's good. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to... I don't know how to... I, I guess I am just going to have to, like...
The alert, the alert thing isn't working on Streamlabs for me. I don't think I can really change that. When he lands, Marvel Branch Walker. Oh well. Uh, wouldn't binding be good? Binding is good against Niv Mizzet, of course. Um, so the problem if you binding anything at all that's not Specifically, Teferi, Hero of Dominaria, and they play Teferi and Exile, or, and then tuck your binding, it's pretty bad for you. Um, if. If you. Also, like. So that's, that's kind of a problem. Um, and then also, if you. Uh, even if you binding stuff. So that's problem number one. Problem number two, if, even if you do Binding to Fairy, if they have their own Binding, Conclave Tribunal, Cleansing Nova, Destroy Enchantments, any way to get rid of it, and they get their Teferi back, um, it's it's a huge uh, problem. Um, so that's problem number two. And then problem number three, it's not a card you want in your opening hand, where if you're like trying to play things to kill your opponent, um, and everything, and you're just sitting within it. If like I'm like I'm just sitting with an Ixlon's binding the whole time. It's just another card that our opponent doesn't have to worry about for a while while they're answering all of our threats, and uh, so it's not a card that I want in my hand or in my deck. I mean, in that case, hey Contreras. I understand you are in need of to deliver us to victory. All right, getting a Johnny in play, um, where it's a Johnny can just you know threaten to tick up to the ultimate uh, pretty quickly. You know, starting at five loyalty here after the first tick up. Yeah, so it's too reactive to be good against the control in this deck. Yeah, there we go. Where, um, on the other side, there is there's Spyglass, which is the same kind of thing. But Spyglass, you can you can play early to kind of get out of your hand. You still you still take care of Teferi with Spyglass, but then you also get the information of what your opponent is doing. You get to know their hand, which is which is valuable for sure. So you get that information as well. Burn Bright. I think it's um a worse. It's worse than uh, uh, the white one that's that's being played right now. Yeah. No. Yeah, we are attacking for lethal there. So that's our opponent. It's a GG. All right, Hawkeye. I'm gonna go get you some food real quick. Okay. All right. One and zero. Oh. Pretty easy win over Jeskai Control there. Um, they didn't put up too much of a fight. They didn't have sweepers. Jeskai Control certainly needs sweepers against us. They didn't have sweepers either game. So I'm going to run a, a quick one minute ad while I go to the kitchen and get Hawkeye some food. And I'll be right back. Y'all can talk and chat and stuff.
Okay. He's all happy. He's all happy. Thoughts on the new Domri? Yeah, I like the new Domri. I like it. I like Domri more than um, the other two Planeswalkers that we've had so far from the set. It's not like it's not like Vivian Reed good, um, but it's it's still pretty good. The mana that you get to add with it. I like how the mana that you get to add with it is not only just for creatures. You can use it on anything. Um, you know, you can use it on. You know, transforming Nicol Bolas or or whatever. Um, so it's not it's not like Sarkin where it's all, like Sarkin's is only for dragon spells. Like it's it's not only for creature spells. It just has a bonus if you give it to to creatures. Hey, Big Pop with a sub for the second month in a row. Welcome, Big Pop. Thank you so much for that continued support there. So that's sub number two on the day. The sub notification's not working for some reason, so don't really know what that's all about. Dun 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 dun. Um We need one more mana to be before we can Daredevil strike. Need to mute a, a group conversation. It was just. Um, Getting too many notifications. All right, Daredevil, Daredevil strike, strike the Steamkin. Just want to kill the Steamkin. We still have, you know, Daredevil checks Lava Runner. And also made the Lava Runner into a one-two instead of a, instead of anything bigger. Right, if they're emptying their hand like that, that certainly means they got Experimental Frenzy, right? Like, why would they, why would they empty their hand like that? No, Arena does not let you see the order for the cards that go into the, onto the bottom in, in a random order. Um, no, so you do not get to see them. Deckmaster doesn't. Oh, I didn't. I don't have Deckmaster up. Doing all the other stuff. Forgot about Deckmaster. Which is the the thing I forget about the most. Because on my side, Deckmaster is just a minimized window. So yeah. Let me get let me get Deckmaster going. All right, Deckmaster should be up now. Also, Numeros. Howdy. Forgot to say hi. Um, just block there. Take three. Which should be fine. Johnny's going to... Oh, yeah. Johnny's going to pump up these life linkers. No friend of mine. Be strong. And there we go. Our hand was really good. There. I usually have everything pre-stream good except for Deckmaster. That's the the one thing I forget about. Cuz I have to like I have to like ever since doing the these YouTube videos, I have to do like a few audio things um to to get that set up where, you know, like the music's going to the stream but not going to the recording kind of thing. Hey, Eddie. So, it takes a little bit of time and so I I usually think I'm like, all right, I got everything done, and then Deck Master is the thing I forget about. Uh, let's see, mono red, mono 
red. So Clarion, Binding, Knight, Huatli, Mentor, Bugler, Ajani, um, Path of Discovery, another Ajani, on 61. Ajani's really not that bad, but... Guess we're trimming a Vivian. Uh -uh -uh. Like how Vivian can kill Frenzy. Frenzy is certainly like the scariest card for us. <clears throat> for just like the yeah, so we're not playing basic planes because of how the the numbers work with with like the different mana sources. Um, you know. Just didn't get to, just didn't get to have a, a basic planes base. You know, have enough. I have like the number of green, white, and red sources that that I like, um, or that are acceptable. So what? I really wouldn't mind one more white source. I really wouldn't mind a, a basic planes. I mean, I think, I think, if I didn't have Arch of Arazka, I, I would have basic planes there. And maybe, maybe I should have basic planes over something. Oh, I just played the wrong card. I was talking about planes, and yeah, obviously I want to play Branch Walker there. Hey, Zelay. Hey. Ugh. Definitely wanted to play Branch Walker. Whoops. Uh, next question. Take on New Domri. I like it. I think it's the best Planeswalker in the set. And, um, you know, it's not, like, amazing, but it's a good, solid Planeswalker. And Daniel from Brazil. Howdy. Yeah, knights. There's a deck list for knights. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, you can look for it there. Um, it's probably a little ways down. I, ha I haven't. Like I made it. Like whenever I made it, uh, maybe two weeks ago. We never really changed the deck. It's been doing just fine how it is. I never really changed the deck at all. So it's probably like a two week old deck list or so. Cool. You found it. Um, just throw on the. Lava Coil of the Graveyard. I have Dire Fleet Daredevil for another removal spell. I want to try to find one of my Planeswalkers or you know, a source of continuing card advantage. Uh, yeah, Jund and Teamer should both be good at mid-range decks. Um, you know, uh, yeah. Gruul has gotten a lot of good cards. Rakdos has gotten a lot of good cards. And... Uh, Orzov. Oh, I could have just... Oh, no, I can't really take the risk factor. I was I was thinking I could have just taken the risk factor, but... No, not really, because they would just cast the risk factor. Which deck got weaker now with new cards? The, what current deck? Yeah, so I should have... I should have A, just attacked, and then they would have done that. Then I could Daredevil the risk factor. That's what I should have done there. Um, not sure yet. Let's kind of see. Yeah, not exactly sure. Azorius and Azorius has not gotten a whole lot, which is good. And um neither has Simic. Simic has like just a, a couple cards, but not overall <clears throat> not a whole lot. But they have like that the wilderness reclamation of course, that enchantment looks awesome. Oh, I have to get like some more water. Yeah, the mana is just going to be so good that it's going to be pretty hard to only like. It's just not going to be really necessary to only play two colors. The new Rakdos enchantment is amazing. It's one of the best cards in the set. 
whatever that name of the Rakdos enchantment from today was. Even yourself, Todd. Obviously, I'm gonna be brewing good things. Yeah, of course I will, Eddie. That's a <laughs> yeah, Theater of Horrors. Yeah, that card, Theater of Horrors. It's one of the best cards in the set. It's it's close to Experimental Frenzy good. I've been playing a lot of Naya Value. It's rough and best of one. I had to main deck two Clarions. Yeah, yeah. I think main decking some Clarions could be worth it. <clears throat> or maybe playing some of the like maybe in best of ones you want to play Angels instead of like a Johnny. Like you you may want to be playing Shalai and Lyra and stuff like that instead of a Johnny Path of Discovery. Best of ones just a different format. <clears throat> Theater of Horrors is 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 so good that it's not just it's not just an aggro card. I think Theater of Horrors can just be a control card also that just gains you a lot of advantage. And you know, you don't need to use the cards right away. You get to play you get to just stack them up and play them whenever you want. You know, all you have to do is just deal damage to the opponent and then you get to cast and then you get to play stuff. Um, and you know it has that activated ability, so in a control deck they can just kind of use that activated ability as like a win con. Yeah, the exile cards are shown to the opponent. Yep. People before were speculating that Angrath would be a really good way to turn on Spectacle, which I didn't think was um, was very relevant. Where You'd have to have a. Guess I'm shocking. You have to have like a five mana planeswalker on tap to be able to have spectacle for like the creatures, stuff like that. Um, so I thought it was a pretty silly reason for Angrath to, to go up in price so much. But with the. Uh, but with this Theater of Horrors, that's just. That's a perfect card for Angrath, where Angrath can. Um, where you don't, like, you know, Angrath can help you deal, like, your one damage, and then, um... And then from there, you get to, uh... Play all your cards with Theater, with, um... Theater of Horrors. Do you think the new Domri would fit this deck? Yeah, it would. Yeah, it certainly would. This deck could could really use the mana quite a bit a lot of times, and um, yeah, getting two creatures isn't too difficult. So yeah, absolutely. All right, no Chupacabra. I was certainly expecting Chupacabra there. No Chupacabra, and our opponent just passed. So I'm thinking Contempt. I don't really want to play Aurelia this turn, just kind of in general, because I feel like Aurelia not only would be a good Contempt target for them, but would also be a good uh, Vivian target if they follow up with Vivian. So I... Hmm. Maybe it's still just the best card, though. I guess it is just the best card to play. If they Contempt Aurelia, they're not Contempting a Johnny. And if they're minusing, if they minus on Vivian, then they have to chump block with Branch Walker next turn. I've lost so much already. I won't draw and fire.
I really wanted to land there. I really wanted to Branch Walker plus Bugler this turn. I guess we see if we hit a land here. Gross. So that worked out as, as bad as it could for like playing Aurelia, Aurelia dies, Vivian stays alive, and we don't get to double spell. That worked out as bad as it could. Meet my newest friend. I guess if they do have finality here, it won't be as bad as it could. But then Chupacabra. Yeah, this did not work out. Uh, I've never played Mentor of the Meek yet. I decided to put one in the deck. I haven't actually cast it yet or anything. Oh man. Yeah, this this went all went terribly for us. So we have to keep up with Vivian card advantage. So we're just playing Mentor the Meek. Then I'll start playing Buglers. So Buglers will just be four mana and draw two cards, basically. Balance comes. Well, Growth Walker isn't that important that I want a Johnny minus two it. Johnny would be very vulnerable. Alright, land. Okay, there's the land. Tristani's good. And... I won't draw a card off Branch Walker, but I think we just play Branch Walker. You know, we just use our mana. Oh, they have Vivian to kill that. Oh, I should get rid of that. I was thinking that's that's actually a card that I could could play, have Wild Growth Walker completely dominate, but they have Vivian to kill that. I should just get rid of that. Hey, Silver Weasel. Glad you're doing really well with the deck. The wilds are my shield. We are going to force them to minus three Vivian, though. I don't know if I can beat Carnage Siren here, though. Ever since playing the Aurelia, like those those couple of turns of play after playing the Aurelia just went went terribly for me. I, I really regret playing the Aurelia now. when I did. And then we didn't hit that land drop to be able to really pressure the Vivian. How do they not play their Jade Light Ranger? What are they doing? What are they possibly doing? It just has to be another finality. I don't I don't have help in my deck to stop Tyrant with Bugler. There there isn't any. Hey Todd, this is the list I want you to play. Here's a rough copy, no cyborg yet. What do you think? Okay, I'll check it out here. Let me Alright, I'll check that out. Just has to be another finality. Yeah. I don't I don't have a way to win this. Bueller getting like Aurelia, not gonna help. Yep, it's another finality.
So this is why we got Star of Extinctions and our own Carnage Tyrants for this matchup. Aurelia comes on out as how it's weak to Vivian. Um, and Tristani is very weak to Finality, which I don't like either. One of those comes on out. Um, Path of Discovery is very weak to Vivian also. But man, if they don't have Vivian, Path of Discovery just wins the game. Binding is a good answer to Vivian. Unless they have any Assassin's Trophy or Vraska or anything else to kill Binding. I'll try one. I don't usually play binding here, but I'll try one. They usually just have Star of Extinction. Like, Star of Extinction is my answer for their Vivian and their other things. Ugh. Um. Okay, that's better. Not a lot better, but we got three lands, at least. No, you can put a donation deck in the queue. Um, yeah, we'd just be pushing out Orzhov Knights. Uh, but yeah, J-Jack Jr. has... Actually, I think we're getting a, a donation deck from J-Jack Jr. here, also. Okay, so this is a green-white mid-range. Alright, four Shalai, four Lyra Dawnbringer, and only two Vivian Reed. Like, and four Carnage Tyrant. Like, it's it's too many Shalais, Dawnbringers, and Carnage Tyrants, and not enough Vivians. Like, Vivian is the four of. Like, Vivian's a better card than any of those other cards. Vivian's better than Shalai, Lyra, or Carnage Tyrant. But yeah, no, you can put, you can put in a donation. If you if you do like the the donation deck to skip the line, you can get one next next in the queue. If you just if you're just if you want to do just a regular donation deck, then um, we could play that on. We'll play that on another day. That's how I do like the other donation decks. I always do them like the next day or the day after or whatever another day is they, of your preference. Okay, come on, creatures. Come on, creatures. Bleh. Okay, cool. That sounds good. My retribution will be swift. Yeah, the nor normal donation decks I always do on another day. But the the skip the line donation I do that day. How convenient. An excellent choice. So we gotta hit land drops, so we can really use creatures to draw here where Path of Discovery will help us hit our land drops. That's what we really want. Stand together. You are capable of more than you assume. But yeah, JJ Jr., that, that deck looks pretty interesting. It's best if you stop. Green, white, good cards. Explore and Angels. A 
devious choice. Um... The new Dovin with Karn. Make some more artifacts. Our opponent has just a million cards right now because of this Karn. Path of Discovery looking really weak without any creatures. Looking really weak. It is good to see you, my friend. Strength is born of struggle. Okay. All right, J-Jack, we can, we can keep that the same. Maritame with the sub. Thank you so much, Maritame. Thank you so much. You're a rock star. Let's get some high votes in for that. Well chosen. Wish the... Wish the alerts were working. But my alerts just aren't working today. Yep, I'll keep that that the same. Then it says to recreate it when it breaks. That takes like a lot of time though. Or it's maybe not that difficult, but I just don't really know how to do it. Make way or, for your I mean, captain. I could do it, it'd just take me take me a decent amount of time. Be needing that. Thanks, Martium. Thank you. So I have to recreate the follow alert whenever it breaks. Yeah, I'll have to do that off stream. Hmm. Yeah, we we have not drawn very well this game. We got a creature now. Our path to discovery is gone, but we got a creature. Because, like, you know, these kind of decks, you know, we're relying on our explore creatures to hit a bunch of lands. Like, our explore creatures are so valuable. Not having any explore creatures is rough. Want to waste this daredevil? I guess so. Not gonna really like whenever I get to six mana to finally be able to daredevil contempt. Um, I'm only one man away from star of extinction at that point. Yep, you can be next, J-Jack Jr. Alright, so we're not going to get the Orzov Knights in it today. Alright, so yeah, so there you go. So J-Jack, let's skip the line donation that gets you to that we're gonna play that Celestia mid-range deck. Decisive action is needed. Sorry, crazy. Um And even if even when we do get to Star of Extinction, they just have Memorial to Folly. Two of them. I'm I'm glad we have not drawn Ixalan's Binding, and I, I'm, Crew, I wish Ixalan's Binding was not in my deck. This is why I don't like Ixalan's Binding for Vivian. They have Trophy, they have Vraska, they just have so many ways to kill Ixalan's Binding. I wish it wasn't in my deck. I wish I just had a Militia Bugler there instead. That's why I don't 
You know, we didn't see Trophy or Vraska. I was hoping they didn't have them, but I don't think you should bring in Binding against... against Golgari. Okay, they're just going double chump to keep their Planeswalker alive. I like the Assassin's Trophy, though. The Assassin's Trophy, you know, gives us a mountain, which we need. They have a lot of good cards exiled with Karn. Dang it, they minus one. I really wanted them to take up again. I really wanted them to take up again. Because we potentially have Star of Extinction next turn. So I wanted those cards to stay in exile, because now even if we destroy this Carnage Tyrant... They have the Memorial to Folly to get it back, even if we destroy one Memorial to Folly. The belligerent needs uh, I guess they're just not going to cast the trophy, though. I would like them to cast trophy. I don't think they will. So, Alright, so... Here's the plan. We double block with Wild Growth Walker and Daredevil. They Your patience is play rewarded. Binding, or they play Trophy, and then we star. Nope. Plan's not working. And they have Find Finality that gets two creatures back also. I need to draw a land. My crew is the finest in the seas. Not a land. Bleh. It's kind of the opposite of our match against Jeskai there. Um, our match against Jeskai, our opponent didn't, you know, like, we just steamrolled our opponent. We had just good hands both times. Um, lots of explore creatures. Our opponent didn't have sweepers, and the, the two games weren't close. That time, our hands weren't very good. Golgari had their really good hands, and they just steamrolled us two games. Both those matches are, of course, a lot closer than what either of those looked like, but it was just kind of the opposite. Ugh. Yep, no dice. Okay. So let's go with a new game here. We're two and one. Also, hey, Boot. Happy Monday. We can keep this. Yeah, it's it's certainly a new game, but it's it's one that we're still we're still pretty far behind that game. In fact, very far behind, but it's a game at least. Hey, good job, Son the Witch. Getting that ranked that ranked diamond, good job. But, you know, like, they would still have fine to get, to get Carnage. Like, they would still be able to Moral to Fall to get their Carnage Tyrant back. Play Carnage Tyrant. We'd play ours to block. They'd have another Memorial Folly to get theirs back. And they'd have a fine Finality to get that plus another, cre plus, like, Jade Light back. Um, and they have Assassin's Trophy. And we had nothing else besides Carnage Tyrant. So, we are... We'd still be ridiculously far behind. It was... But that Karn really, really got us. So did the Vraska, too. was really that Karn. I guess both of them. Planeswalkers are just amazing. Hey, Moburu. Yeah. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, our, <laughs> we had just really bad draws both games, and yours were really good, and you annihilated us. Uh, a little bit before, I was saying that, a little bit before that, we did the same thing to Jeskai. Like, we had good draws, and Jeskai did not have any sweepers, and we annihilated Jeskai. And I was just saying that neither of those games are, or not those match, like, you know, like, we're not that bad against Golgari, we're not that good against Jeskai. It was just, just what, that's what happens with, uh, with Magic sometimes. But you played very well, Maburu, and, uh, good games. So I'm going to attack in with Branch Walker and Jade Light again here, um, respecting Settle the Wreckage a little bit. I want to resolve Vivian, if possible, which looks like it will be possible. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Yeah, like I have, I have three Daredevils for the the find finalities to get to get my creatures back. That's what I want to do. But the Carnage, like a game one, Carnage Tyrant, no and then Finality putting the counters on it, I really don't have answers to that game one. Yeah, like game, yeah, like the other games I have like, I'll have like Star of Extinction, my own Carnage Tyrants, but yeah, game one, Carnage Tyrant, then find Finality. That's brutal against me for sure. Um... We'll put the put this on Aurelia here because they could maybe have Seal away. Um, so I want the Aurelia to have Vigilance, but okay, Root Snare is just not going to matter. You can't stop nature. Hmm. So we'll see if our opponent runs out of Hold fog effects. Thought. We're two turns away from Vivian ultimating. Which, you know, doesn't really help against fog effects, but does help keep our creatures around. Oh yeah, there's the mentor value I could have got. That is true. All right, so now potential settle the wreckage. Yeah, I, I, I should have got that mentor value. Good, good call there. Um, I'll attack with the two creatures again. Should probably play Tristani first to pump these things. I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, well. It does matter. Like it's. I'm glad that we we waited here because now we get the all the explore triggers from from Tristani. Oh, I should have taken up Vivian first. I guess I'm gonna. I want to put a Johnny in the graveyard though. Come. So Johnny's just going to the bottom. We do have Vivian ult. We need they to are not caring quickly. about Vivian ult. The good thing about Vivian ult is we don't have to worry about cleansing. We wouldn't have to worry about cleansing Nova anymore. I think I uptick again. I think I just ultimate. I 
I think. We're gonna have a lot of creatures. Let's see if this resolves also. I have more information. Yep, I'm just gonna ultimate Vivian. Our walker has got to be good, right? Hey, say more. Now we're getting started. You should see the look on your face right now. This kind of matchup, I'm, I'm certainly going to be playing Ixalan's Binding in the sideboard here. Um, with getting rid of Teferi being such a valuable thing to do. I'll be playing... Yeah, so I'll be, I'll be playing Ixalan's Binding whenever in sideboarding here. Keep up the pace! Alright, so Settle the Wreckage and Fogs. Fog effects are the only things we have to worry about. It's not bad though, they they play Cleansing Nova to kill five creatures, and the next turn we have a 4-7, a 6-7, a 10-12, and two 5-5s. Five That's pretty good. And they're all... They all have Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructibility. No, I mean, no, our opponent hasn't died yet. We could certainly lose this. We don't know that they have Settle in their hand yet. A lot of people in chat are saying that we know they have Settle, but we don't know that. One man away from casting this chemist's insight. Um, so I could just, I could just exile that chemist's insight right now and not let them cast it, or I could just, man, I wish I had enough mana for dispersal. Uh, if I just did not play the wild growth walker first, if I just played the bugler and found this. I maybe should have just done that. I, I didn't really realize they had Dispersal down here. I could have maybe played the Bugler first, found Daredevil. Jade Light was 100% better? How? I and mean, we have, at, at the worst, we can draw two cards. That's just better. We have we have one Explore plus draw two with Daredevil. That's so much better than Jade Light Ranger. So I think the option is either just draw two with Charticors or exile Chemisters inside and not let them play it. But I guess I just draw two. There's our land. I wish I would have. Uh, wish I would have like maybe tucked the Jade Light or something. Man, we could have we could have potentially had Daredevil dispersal Hurry. and got rid of Teferi there. Oh man, they ticked up Teferi again? Oh, I could have saved the Daredevil then. But we got another Bugler, we got two more Daredevils in here. We can look for another look for another Daredevil. Let's look for another Daredevil, because we need Daredevil dispersal. Oh, 
Okay. So that's why they ticked up because they're gonna next because they knew they were gonna next to fate. Man, I I really wish I would have just played Bugler before Wild Breath Walker now. I didn't really consider find Daredevil, Daredevil dispersal the Teferi. Skip to the good part. Yeah, three explorers is not better than one explorer, two draw steps. The size of the Wild Breath Walkers isn't that important. <laughs> yep, Val, yeah, our life total doesn't matter. Yep. This isn't a fight you can win. You know what? I'm not done yet. They did not even ex they did not even ultimate that other Teferi. They just ticked up and then played a new Teferi and ticked up again. They must be man. Huh. Uh, n n Nopiola? Hey. Uh, yeah, seen today's spoilers. Um, thanks for the kind words first, and then thoughts on Kaya's Wrath. It's certainly good. It's, you know, four mana Wrath is very good. Now, with it being white, white, black, black, it has a r very restrictive mana cost, but our mana is, is g good and standard. It's going to be an interesting one to see how how it plays out. Alright, it's Bugler. Look for Daredevil. It's not Daredevil. I should save the Branch Walker, because if they settle, it'll shuffle my library. We can also choose no on on that. Hmm. And everybody was saying it was game over. It was. So that's why our opponent was was ticking up their Teferi still and drawing card there because they just didn't have any settles or, or fog effects. So likely our opponent probably had a bunch of cleansing novas that they couldn't ki couldn't kill our creatures. So they were, they were digging so that's why they were ticking up so much. They were digging for, for either Nexus or a fog or a settle. I'm sure they probably had a bunch of cleansing novas. That didn't matter. Um, let's get these in, let's get those in. Is... So Coil's come out. Um, is Huatli any good here? I don't think Carnage Tyrant's that good. It's, you know, it's six mana, it's very slow. So I'm not going to bring in Carnage Tyrant. You know, I'm not really worried about them having counter magic. I, I could agree with that, Valley. That if they had cleansing novas, they should have tucked Vivian. But maybe they found maybe they drew him after that. I don't know. But yeah, surprised the Vivian was not tucked. One thing we know for sure is that our opponent liked drawing cards, and they they drew lots of cards. What those cards were, we don't know. All speculation. Hey, Rackle Guru. I, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know exactly what I'd do for best of one, Naya. 
I'd, I mean, I'd have to, like, you know, play games with it and everything to try to figure that out. I, I don't know. All right, cutting an Aurelia and a Wild Growth Walker. Did I submit 61? 61's cool. Nope, 60. 53 plus. Fifty-three plus seven. Sixty. Four Knight of Autumn is a good start for best of one. Okay. Yeah, I, like I could see I could see not playing a Johnny and Path of Discovery and playing Shalai and Lyra and playing those instead of a Johnny and Path of Discovery. Like you're still gonna like you you're not taking out bugler hits. I think to, you know you don't want to take out too many bugler hits. The thing is, is like me making best of one decks is is really kind of speculation because I I don't really play the format and I feel like it's a I feel like best of one best of one in standard is comparable to standard like sealed is comparable to draft like they're they're both limited but they're pretty different and like it's they're both standard but they're pretty different yeah so yeah you don't need to play as many lands right because of the the rng there and you don't need to Hmm. Or, and you can't keep the same kind of hands. You can't keep kind of loose hands in that format. Because best of one's just all about curving out. Like curving out matters so much more in best of one. Same with best of one limited, best of one standard. It, it, that's so much more important than in best of three games because of like how the two hands are generated. If you can't curve out with how those two hands are generated, your opponent's going to be curving out. You're going to lose. Yeah, that's a great Karn. So I wanted to. I was, so I was debating between Path of Discovery or Daredevil Charter Course. Nothing is I'm gonna go ahead and lost. path the discovery here. All right, then playing Tristani means we explore three times. The Wild Growth Walker will be a trust me, no time for four a six. So Wild Growth Walker can kill Karn. Yeah, Star would also just kill all my creatures, though. I don't know if that's a great trade. Trading a card plus my creatures to kill their Planeswalkers. I'm not sure if that's a very good trade. Oh, it's five. Right, it's five because Tristani, pump, Tristani pumps it, so that's why it's five. It's five, seven, because the plus one, plus one from Tristani. So we got to attack the fairy for lethal. They had to use a root snare. Good choice. Gift of Paradise I could destroy with Vivian Reed. I don't... Like, we're in a really tough spot here, though, because they get to Nexus of Fate here if they want. Hold that thought! Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I, I, I attacked Teferi. I was saying maybe Karn because I thought we were only going to be attacking for four. I forgot about the Tristani plus one plus one. So with it five, I, I did attack Teferi, but... Um, yeah, they had a reason there. They do have to go to discard. Discarding another insight. No land drop. So they have all those cards in hand and not a single one's a land. I don't really want to give them another land. Ugh. They drew a land anyway. Alright, I probably should have just gave them the land. So this turn I'm going to go ahead and uh, play Vivian Reed. And next turn I'm going to have Daredevil for Dispersal. So I'm, I'm going to wait till 7 man before I play Daredevil. Oh. Or they have Nexus. Are you certain of your decision? They've already played a land this turn, so I don't mind giving them another. Um. We need to move quickly. Yeah, I understand not wanting to use your wild cards with RNA so close, but yeah, Daredevil is a really fun card. I think we can just concede here. Yeah, I'm gonna concede. Let's go to game three. Are there any cards in standard that make it so combat damage can't pre be prevented? I know one from Amoncat that just rotated. There may be some still. Um, I can't, I can't think of one right now. This is not good for us. This hand is just so slow, which is exactly what Turbo Fog wants. We need to find some kind of creature. Well, there's a creature. Alright, we got there. I had Banefire in the list to begin with, but it wasn't it wasn't really necessary. I play against Turbo Fog. Like I've played against Turbo Fog less than five times ever for playing seven hours a day for the last uh, over two months. And I've played against it less than five times, so I don't think I really need a bait, like any kind of sideboard card for this matchup, because this is not one that I'm really expecting to face. But Banefire just wasn't worth, worth it against other you control decks. Other control decks, just having more threats was see. better than Banefire. And it was just a it's a really narrow sideboard card. If if I was a magic card, what would I be? What color and mana cost? Um, I'd probably be. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna play Mentor the Meek before Path of Discovery because I want I want to be able to take up. 
twice on, or like get two creatures going with this Ajani. Um, I'd certainly be a green white card. I will lend you my strength. So Planeswalker looking at like, like one, maybe one green white, because I do like three drops quite a bit. You know, in modern I would just play mono three drop deck. Uh, so probably like one green white. And I'm just not going to ever play this Path of Discovery. But playing the J-Light Ranger is so much better. Nice! You got four Daredevil for next week's FNM. Awesome, Angry Poncho. That's a good draw. That allows us to see their hand, see if they have Settle the Wreckage or just Fog. Yes, Spyglass is better than Banefire in this matchup, that's for sure. So they have Fog, Fog, Cleansing Nova, and Arch of Araska. I'm not going to name Arch of Araska still. Let's go ahead and name Teferi. So yeah, that's a... That's a pretty good turn. We drew Jade Light Ranger and Spyglass and put a Tristani on top. They took all that damage, even though they had Root Snare. Yeah, they have Nova, but we have Tristani. And we have Ultimate Ajani. Hey, what's up, Zerf? Doing pretty good today. We are gonna try to beat some. I will not some be moved. Bant Nexus. You do not fight alone. With Path of Discovery, Path of Discovery plus a Johnny Emblem. Ooh. Yeah, Johnny's probably fine. I need to go towards another I Johnny Emblem. To fight by your Let's get Wild Growth Walker you in play. Because this Wild Growth Walker is going to be insanely big with all these explorers. Like, just every single turn, Wild Growth Walker gets plus three, plus three. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how, you know, like the damage doesn't matter that much, but it's, it's going to be crazy how big this Wild Growth Walker is going to be. And we're gonna just get all the lands out of our deck. All right, let's look for Vivian. I guess we're not gonna be able to necessarily draw Vivian. Yeah, we just drew three at end step. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna respect the Turbo Fog matchup. I was just talking about how I've played against Turbo Fog less than five times ever in playing seven hours a day for over two months. I've played see against it less than five times ever. I'm not going to have a, you. any cards in my sideboard for this. Again, Spyglass is just better than, than anything like Banefire or Thud or anything like that. Spyglass is just a card. If you really want to. If you really want something for Turbo Fog, play Spyglass. If you're not playing four Spyglasses, play more Spyglass. If you, like, if you want to beat Turbo Fog, play Spyglass. Like, name Teferi, name Search for his can name the Ascanta thing, name March of Arazka. Don't let him do any of those. All 
All right, what do we get to Daredevil? Nothing right now. I like the new Domri. Um, it's not like it's not like a spectacular um, planeswalker, but it's it's better than the other planeswalkers, and it looks it looks pretty fun. Um, I guess Turbo Fog got its name originally from trying to play ramp spells. Trying to play a lot of ramp spells uh, to be able to play their... Uh, to be able to get a lot of mana. Um, to be able to play extra turn stuff. And, and yeah, like then they use the fogs to as their interaction. Hey, Haishin, good evening. All right, let's draw some cards. Far you have come. Let's see how am I gonna deck myself? I don't think so. I'm at 32 cards. Currently looking for Vivian. There we go. Let's see how big we can get this wild growth walker. Wonder how how big of a wild growth walker can we make? Like we're 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 gonna get our wild growth walker out of starve extinction range, and there it is. It's out of starve extinction range. I wish I had starve extinction now. Is fifty? Well, fifty fifty two. Is that the biggest wild growth walker you've ever seen? <laughs> the random thud still seems sweet. Why not blow up Ascanta? I don't think I have a way to blow up Ascanta right now. But I'm, that's what I'm going to do with this Vivian is destroy the Ascanta. That's that's my plan. So that's why I was really hoping to get a Vivian this turn before Ascanta flipped. Just send this Wild Growth Walker to fight Volus. <laughs> oh no, extra turn. That means that Ascanta is going to flip. So we'll see if, like, I don't think I've ever seen a, a wild growth walker that survives Star of Extinction, or any creature that survives Star of Extinction, besides, like, you know, Danto Vanguard, not, not including that. Everybody says that you automatically lose once, once the opponent first casts a Nexus of Fate. Having the first game, too. We don't just automatically lose because our opponent cast one Nexus of Fate. So our opponent had to, in order to flip the Search for Escanta, they would have had to mill the top card. So they liked that top card, so they kept that top card, so they didn't mill it. Oh, that killing Spyglass is really rough. Now they get to Teferi. That's rough. Now that is rough. Knight of Autumn into another Nexus out of, out of their three cards. They're still ditching Teferi, so presumably they have a Teferi in hand. And they need to find some kind of thing to deal with our, all these creatures. They need to find a fog effect to settle the wreckage, a cleansing nova. My creatures are not indestructible, so they will die to, all die to cleansing nova. And there is a cleansing nova. <laughs> Mm 
1921. That's the biggest walker we got before it got Cleansing Nova away. Two, three, four, five. And they do have exactly the enough mana to also cast a fairy. Yeah. So those are those are you know perfect last cards in hand for our opponent. Perfect last cards in hand. Does not get better than that. All right, so we got Chemister's Insight, which they'll just cast their, or they cannot cast their, oh no, they can. They have one card in hand because it's a fairy, so they can cast the Chemister's Insight. So I can Cleansing Nova. Should I, should I Cleansing Nova and destroy their, basically destroy their two Gift of Paradise? Yeah, that would, That could not have got, gone any better from our, for our opponent. <laughs> Uh, I don't need to explore more. That doesn't seem really worth it. Just gonna Vivian. Get rid of a gift of paradise here. Let's tear this place apart. <laughs> Get that out of here. All right, well, they're not going to have enough mana now. Back on your feet. So I'm just going to get this inside out of there. I'm not going to cast it, but, I mean, we, we got enough cards. We don't really need more cards. Ooh, binding. Yes, please. Let's get that inside out of there so my opponent cannot cast it. I forgot we had bindings in our deck. Did I play a land yet? I guess so. Good last card. Let's skip to the good part. <laughs> well, our opponent's been drawn very well. What if you found out your dentist was a Nexus player? <laughs> yep, gotta go get a new de dentist. I like our chances if we get another turn. I, I do like our chances if we get another turn. Unclear if we get another turn, though. They have 30... 29 cards left in their deck. Basically 30. I'm down to 27. I like my chances of finding another Daredevil. Between Vivian, Tick Up, all, Militia Bugler, all these Explorers. And then if they cast this Discovery, we'll be able to have Dispersal, which will be nice. You know what? I'm not done yet. And this is what the first game looked like, and then we won. That's a great discovery. Getting rid of two cards.
Yeah, that was just a that was a great last four cards that last time with our opponent. Having Knight of Autumn to destroy Spyglass. Uh, Nexus of Fate. We'll double Nexus of Fate to be able to flip Ascanta. Ascanta finding Cleansing Nova and then also Teferi and having exactly enough mana to do that with our turns. Hold that thought. So down to 21 now with five cards in hand. It's very unlikely that we get another turn now. Yeah, because they get to activate us can't again here at Unstep. Yeah, we're not going to get another turn. They're under, under 20 cards with the four Nexuses. They get to activate mo Nexus multiple times a turn. We're not getting another turn. Yeah, I should have been digging. I think I should have been digging more aggressively for Vivian or Binding. That Knight of Autumn, though. That was really good. Alright, so we went 2-2. Two and two. Lost to Golgari and Bant Nexus. Path of Metal. That's a great one. That's one that I've been like thinking about using, uh, like some wild cards on. Cause I have I've never never been able to put together Path of Metal decks. I haven't had Path of Metals, so I really like getting. That's like maybe the best uh, card reward for me at this point. So that that's a very good one. Well, I I don't. So I only get I only get cats on my end step. But if I don't have a turn, I don't have an end step, so I can't get cats. Yeah, they had Karn in their deck. Would a Johnny ult let you win there even if they exiled everything on your board? Nope. No, I'm not getting another turn. So I, the Johnny ult doesn't matter. Because with Nexus of Fate, they take every single turn in the game. So I don't get any... I don't get any end steps, so I don't get any cats. Um, how many times do you think you need to lose to Turbo Fog to consider adjusting your sideboard? I mean, I have to start playing it, playing against it more. Like, it, it, it would also matter, like, how many times I would play against it. Like, like I said, like, I've played against it less than five times. I'm not sure if I've ever, like, I've probably lost to it, like, once or twice out of, like, the less than five times. Besides that time. Turbo Fox is certainly going to be a lot better with the next set. Though, the green enchantment is completely insane for that deck. It's certainly going to be a much bigger part of the metagame. It's, I know it's great in best of one, so a lot of y'all probably see it because it's really good in best of one. Because best of one playing, playing decks like that in best of one is awesome. Because you just completely blank every removal spell anybody has. And your deck... Like, that deck is just incredibly linear. All it's trying to do is take all the turns and fog the opponent, you know? So it's a, it's a really linear deck that, that's doing, like, one thing, and it doesn't matter what it's playing against. It's doing, like, that one thing. And that's, like, a, a good thing that... Uh, that's a really good deck for best of one. Like, it's a, it's a good strat, like style of deck. Um, it gets to ignore a whole lot of what the opponent's doing. I mean, it's the same kind of thing as the hyper aggro decks. It's just like the hyper control deck, basically. Um, which is like the the problem with with best of one in general as a as a format. It really promotes hyper aggressive hyper control decks. Um, and it's really hard to play. It's really hard to have a deck that beats mono red and mono white, and then also beats. Uh, Bant Nexus. It's it's basically impossible to be able to cover both axes like that. So, uh, I guess, well, here, let's finish out. I'm making the next deck right now. Um, our next donation deck. I was going through and filling that out. But I forgot, we got our, we're on our uh, YouTube video here. So let's finish out with Naya Value. Um, 
still definitely really like the deck. I think if if you want to be better against Teferi decks, like uh, this Huali is not really that necessary in the sideboard. The Huali could definitely be another Spyglass. So that's that's something that we could certainly change is Huali into another Spyglass there. That's a that's a that's a very easy change uh, to make uh, there uh, for that. Um, but yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button to be able to follow and go ahead and watch another video. Thanks for watching.